Oh, uh, hey guys, PMHK here, obviously. And before we go any further, let's just cut back on when we're actually preparing what we're eating here right now. Which, by the way, it's actually really, really good, I must say. But let's let's cut a little bit back two, three hours ago. Mm, four. Four hours ago. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Okay, four hours ago. Let's cut back. Why are you in my kitchen, sir? Um, you invited me. Forgot that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> so what are we doing uh, today? So yeah, we're making something very traditional. I'm pretty sure you know so much about this. So we're gonna be making cassava. We're gonna be making some uh, beans. All this is gonna be very, very traditional and uh, something that we grew up eating. Something very special to us, actually. So we have. Angel fish, yeah. We have uh, um, this one we call um, what is this called again? Um, we call it blackfish. Uh, what is it called again? Okay, anyways, let's jump the houseway. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, eggplant, we have green pepper, we have some garlic, we have some rice, this is basmatic rice. We have some crushed nuts here, bay leaves, we have celery, we have salt, this is our palm oil. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what palm oil is. So this is a sprinkled onion and uh, I don't know what this is called in English, but this is how it look after creating it. We call it in French picabonat, I think. Yeah. So all this we're making dinner mm -hmm. to eat this evening so we started cooking already so yeah cooking the beans in here so uh, we're gonna add some a little bit just a little bit of uh, the onion. We're gonna throw this all inside here together. My mom used to do this. So, so what was that that was already inside the pot? That's cassava leaves. Cassava leaves. Fondue. That's cassava leaves. Okay. And then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put uh, some of this. I'm just probably gonna put just uh, half of the uh, um, oil. So we're gonna keep this little one here for the beans and then what's gonna go after here it's gonna be the smoked fish I remember the name and then let's just slide a little bit of this garlic because obviously it's different from every other just to put under there Inside, crash nuts. I open this and just put everything in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of bicarbonate. So this is really strong, but it has a very, I think, rich taste. Is that safe to say? Um, and uh, this, I think this is only made in the DRC Congo. I'm, I don't know. It's a spice that uh, they use for pondu. So when people say, oh, cassava leaves, cassava leaves, cassava leaves, above that, that's how you make it. So yeah, uh, we're cooking today. Uh, I'm saying we're cooking. He's actually doing most of the <laughs> cooking. Uh, by saying we're cooking, I actually be lying to you guys. So he's gonna cook. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. But yeah, so we're cooking. You said the cassava leaves, beans, beans, and then we're gonna make rice. And then we're gonna make rice, as he's saying. It's basically mostly with African, fish. African yeah. food with fish. Me and fish are really not that friend. But for this video, I'm gonna try and enjoy the fish as well. Okay, so this is a uh, angel fish. I think, my opinion, there's a lot of fish. What do you mean you think? 
uh, I think my opinion is one of the best fish. Oh, tasty okay. I, fish. Thought, I thought you were going to say your opinion is that angel fish. <laughs> no, it, uh, it has the most amazing taste, I okay. think. And I like how the, the, the fish itself, like it's, it's nice when you eat it, like it stays, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but we're gonna see how it's gonna look after here. So I put some celery, I put some perca bell, uh, this okay. word, okay. bercarbonate, that's how we call it, that's how my mom used to call it. Some garlic and ginger, so I use this garlic here, I think we call it like who is, yeah. I use this garlic here, so it's garlic and ginger, and then just put a little bit of olive oil and some salt and uh, some celery and yeah i don't know if the oil is hot already but let's see yeah it looks like it's hot so i hope it's hot yeah so so this is how the pundu is looking right now so we have this I don't know, I don't know how to express myself, I just love food, eh? I feel like every time I speak, I'm a little bit dramatic about food, but anyways, this is how it looks. We already put in the fish, this is chili, Yeah, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, like mix the, uh, mm. mix it up. Okay, so the beans, this is how the beans looks for now, so it's still cooking. Okay. Some bay leaves, uh, some celery, so just that great um, uh, old way of cooking with herbs, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and, and how long does it take to prepare the whole meal? Actually, to be honest, this meal takes a long time, especially the beans. Okay. But the pondu takes about, let's say about less than an hour. Alright. And the uh, fish, fish is very easy to make. Mm, and nice. don't forget these meals, are, we're making three type of meals, right? The pondu has fish as well, and we frying some fish. This is how we eat. Okay. This who's is we? Who's we? By we? Uh, Central, um, uh, East, West. Like Africa. we mix food. You know what mm, I'm yes. saying? African. So this is how we do it. There's fish here. There's fish there. And I know here in South Africa, you'll probably be like, "Why are you mixing a lot of stuff?" You <laughs> yes, know what I'm saying? Probably. It's a bit weird. Even myself for being uh, for doing this and like, uh, but I have to do it. it brings okay. the taste. So the rice. How are you going to do the rice and what yeah. else? Are you going to use a starch? Is it only rice or is it something else? I think I think we should only make rice because of the time, okay. and we all love rice. Otherwise, what would you make? Uh, I wanted to make um, fufu. Fufu is cassava pan. Where is okay. it? I have it around here. Okay, I'll show you guys. <laughs> this is fufu. This is how fufu looks. It's looks, cassava. Looks, looks at that, that famous white powder. <laughs> 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 Are you sure it? Oh my word! I don't know about that. I don't know what you're saying, bro. But anyways, you know the famous white powder. Uh, cocaine. No, no, you see, I don't know what you're talking about. What's that? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so fufu. Fufu. How do you and prepare it? So fufu, we we're gonna make it with a. Uh, uh, semolina, we all know semolina. Semolina is all, all wheat, mm. and so what we do is just so it's uh, basically pap. Yeah, it's pap. Okay. So, but fufu, we can't make it like this alone because if we make it like this, it's a little bit hard to eat. You know what I'm saying? But when we make it with semolina and uh, mix it up, okay, it comes out amazing. All right. Very filling, but uh, this will probably do it some other day. And uh, today okay. we're just gonna do the rice, and I can't wait. Just frying the rice a little bit with some bay leaves. Frying the rice? Yeah. Why do you fry the rice? Um, how can I put this? To give it a little bit of taste and um, Okay, it's like seasoning. an African thing. Well, I can't really say. I'm, I'm just <laughs> asking to give you guys context. I know all these things, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I team. don't think it's an African thing because um, not only African do this. 
Well, okay, um, um, Spanish people also uh, fry rice, uh, Indian fry rice, um, the Senegalese, this is a very famous way of Senegalese. Okay, Senegalese are so African anyway. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Boiled water. So we're going to add hot water. Yeah, so we're going to stew it now. What rice is it again? Basmatic. Basmatic rice. It's not plastic, no? Because I see people fighting with plastic rice. They're cooking rice two hours. Rice is not <laughs> ready yet. And then they're going to spill the water out all uh, the time. Yes. Like, by the time you have the rice, like, oh my God, like there's nothing <laughs> happening, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we well, need the so taste. With this rice, you can literally just eat it like this. You know that, right? Is it? You know that. Just confirm. No, but for the sake of the people that don't know, I have to say Oh, okay. It. So you have to pretend. That's I have what to pretend saying. like I know nothing that oh, you're talking okay. about. So <laughs> we can You can literally properly. just eat like this with mayonnaise. You know that, right? But okay, even, so. even that testic, don't they also eat it like this? <laughs> <laughs> testic? Yeah. Wow. So now that you guys seen how we prepared or how John Mark prepared the food, I just wanted to do or we wanted to do something different. I know this is supposed to be a tech channel and now you guys are busy watching us eat. I mean, if you like this video, obviously give this video a thumbs up down there and obviously leave a comment on what you think of the video and maybe if you try and prepare this food. And if you actually need help preparing the food, you can always hit up John Mark. I'm gonna also have uh, maybe his channel. He's actually a musician, by the way. I'm gonna have his channel and his Instagram down in the description for you guys to check it out. But one one more time, I know you already explained what exactly you are eating here, but just take us through again of what we are eating here and why did you choose this? Okay, so basically, hi guys, my name is John Mark. Thanks for for having me on the channel, bro. Welcome. So. This is more like a traditional food that I can say. We grow up eating this, basically exactly how you guys see in this. And we have cassava leaves, that's in English, that's what we call it pondu. We have beans, the, leaf, uh, the green one, green. cassava leaves. And we have beans, we have fish, and we have rice. So this is like a real, really common food that every child is uh, raised most ch children i think i'm mm -hmm. safe to say that raised to have where we come from and it's funny talking about how children are raised i was having a discussion with some friends the other day on how oh actually i was at the police station having a discussion with some of the officers and saying they're actually trying to guess where i come from mm -hmm. and because i was a bit tall and tallish they couldn't really get they knew i wasn't african i mean well, south, south african, african because of my build yeah. and i told them the build is different here and the west of Africa and those other places because of what we eat. Mm -hmm. I told them that here in South Africa, you guys or we or them, mm -hmm. the South Africans, since we are not really born here, although, although we were raised here, yeah. uh, is that here in South Africa we are too westernized. We are eating McDonald's, we are eating KFC, we are eating all these things. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they in West Africa, they don't have these things, they are mainly eating roots. This is basically what they're eating, and this is actually what gives them or gives the us muscles uh, and the all that. Bone, you know, and like we literally don't even drink <laughs> anything uh, to be Imagine. that. We just eat and, and all that. And per se, I'm not saying, I don't think um, eating McDonald's and KFC is wrong, right? It's not wrong, but. It's just that to answer to their questions when they have that uh, question all the time oh, you guys are big and all that. Yeah. It, it plays a big role with it does around with eat what you eat. Yeah, and McDonald's will not, if you're feeding, I mean, it has to do with McDonald's. Yeah. You cannot be feeding your child McDonald's, 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 and think he's also gonna be. That's very true. Yeah, you can eat McDonald's, there's nothing wrong with it, but you need to also have this kind of food, food. in your meals. Now, where were you? Okay, <laughs> so, so cassava leaves. Um, I don't know how I can explain it, but I wish that everybody could uh, probably Google it. So I have dry fish in the cassava leaves, uh, cooked it with palm oil, and I'm sure the, you will see the recap of that. And uh, there was some nuts, and uh, it's just a mixture of all these great um, things mixed together. Okay. And uh, on the rice, it's a basmatic rice, cooked up, just uh, fried it a little bit with some oil, some salt, and uh, bay leaves just to give it a very nice taste uh, right. as well and on the beans as well very simple mm, 
you boil your beans and put some herbs and uh, more like fresh herbs it's always better I, I advise people to do so and have your gravy and then put it there and let it cook it's so simple and amazing on your fish I think fish has the most it's a uh, one Mm, yeah, I'm still talking. I'm kidding. I just, <laughs> fish, I just <laughs> switched off a little bit. <laughs> fish has uh, fish. Fish always have taste, mm -hmm. even if you just put salt in it. You know what I'm saying? But to mix it up a bit, some lemon um, juice, some salt, some now garlic I you can and ginger. Put some lemon juice, garlic yes, and ginger. Yes. So just to give it that amazing taste, and uh, yeah, and uh, we're enjoying it. Yeah, so basically what we're having here is all African-based food. Even the drink, we actually almost took the famous Oros out to drink, but I said, no, nah, let's actually drink what's in the fridge. Now, I don't know the name of this fruit in English, which is why I'm going to Google right now. All right. What is it called in Portuguese? So in Portuguese, we call it, we call it Mukwa. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm Portuguese speaking. I'm actually from Angola, but I know most of you guys know that fact already. But okay. let me actually let try. Let me and... introduce myself. This Portuguese. <laughs> I'm a French-speaking person. I was born in the DRC, but all raised in South Africa. Okay, we're looking for mukwa. Is such. A... I'm sure you pick it up on Google. Huh? Hey, he's saying mucus. Hey, not mucus. <laughs> mukwa. I guess it's mukwa. It says mukwa juice. Tia fan. Learn what is this? Okay, mucus, no, mucus, mucus, I don't want mucus. I'm gonna put the picture of the thingy somewhere here. I'm actually talking to editing PMHK. So when you edit PMHK, put the picture of Mukwa somewhere here. Yeah. So you guys can know what I'm talking about. But anyways, it's actually really strong. They actually also use it to make ice cream. Yeah, like the, pop, the popsicle. That's why it's very strong. The popsicle. So if you just grab this one and freeze, you have ice cream. Okay, where does this come from? What do you mean? Like the original, the, the root. Where did um, Angola? Angola. Portuguese, Portugal, I mean? No, not Portugal. Angola. 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 It's not Portuguese. So actually, let's call let's call Simon. How's the food? Amazing. Amazing. Let's call Simon because Simon already ate this food. Let's call it. Simon! What's wrong? You're done eating. So you scream to come sit, to sit, sit down. Down. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Right or die! My hands want to get for these funny things you are doing. <laughs> I thought you wanted to like that. So, you want to know how the food was since you already finished eating? How was the food? I was hungry. So, mm -hmm. introduce yourself first. How? Maybe they don't know who you are. Yeah. So, already. Ah. <laughs> uh, What's up, Pips? I'm Simon from the Rabbit Hole. But it ain't that what you're thinking. <laughs> so, uh, what do I have to say about the meal? It was, it was delicious. And uh, uh, I personally don't, I'm not a fan of salt. I feel like the beans was a bit salted. But uh, otherwise, the food was great. You must lie, lie, lie. It was great, it was delicious. <laughs> Yeah, I, I also didn't eat uh, cassava. Why? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. It's great, everybody loves it. I just. South African lady. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Or the fish either. So You also didn't have the fish? Nope. I had uh, beans and the rice, and uh, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing, guys. Uh, you should try this. And uh, that. Peace! From the rabbit hole! And your plate? <laughs> Don't take your plate, you monkey. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to make something different for this festive season. Uh, maybe you guys can actually try and cook this at home or maybe do something different. And if you actually wanna do that, make sure you check uh, John Mark's Instagram, maybe or even his channel and check out his music. And yeah, if you have, if you need any help, is most willing to help, right? Yeah, and basically. By the I'm way, all... where do you actually cook? Where can they go and eat whatever you cook? I don't know if you always cook. Actually, this African food. I actually know, so I'm just asking so you guys can know also. So yeah, where can they find you? Okay, so basically, what I do, um, I'm a food artist. 
I make food for a living. Yes, I, I call this art, you know what I'm saying? So today we just thought that we should do an African dish and enjoy it together here with the family. But um, I work for Tuto. Tuto, T U W T O. Excuse you. Excuse me. T U W T O. It's a company that I work for. We specialize in uh, paella and uh, we make a lot of things. You can check us out. And, uh, you can oh, they can. I still do paellas at. Uh... What's that? Show oh, neighborhood. Neighborhood. Yeah, neighborhood. Oh, yeah. So we neighborhood. Yeah, neighborhood. Every Saturday, we at uh, Nyrox. Nyrox. I don't know if you guys know Nyrox. We have a pop-up restaurant there every Sunday. Amazing Nyrox capture fit. Like, uh, yeah. All right. Enough of plugs in. Uh, <laughs> it's busy plugging everything you can. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, obviously give this video a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can always give it a thumbs down, but I'm going to track you down if you give this video a thumbs down. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to catch you guys on my next video. Peace. Peace. Thanks for having me, bro. Pleasure.